The AL109 test is to provide preventative protection against biodiesel induced oxidation. Some of the components of biodiesel can accelerate oxidation in the engine oil. So what can happen is as the biodiesel leaks in, the oxidation rate will increase and then this can lead to the viscosity increasing of the oil. It also forms deposits. Setting the test up, you measure out a set amount of oil and a set amount of biodiesel and mix them thoroughly. We then add an iron catalyst. This is just to accelerate the rate of the reaction that's happening within the test. We then take a portion of what has been mixed together and we put it into an oil bath, which is set at 150 degrees. We add a condenser so that any gases given off will condensate, return to a liquid and return to the test sample. And then we introduce air into there. This is so there's an oxygen source going into the oil and we take a small sample out of the oil and we run some testing on it to check the rate of oxidation. So we do a viscosity test and also an IR test. And for a good performing oil, we're looking to see as little change as possible. So we're making this condition harsher than what real life would be. So we know if it performs well in the lab, it will then not be in as severe condition in the real world and should still perform well. Lubrizol understands the technical challenges and requirements of a SEA oil performance and is very well prepared and positioned to be able to help our partners and customers throughout the world respond and upgrade their products to meet a SEA oil requirements both today and in the future.